Alrighty, so today we're going to be unboxing this Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Warhammer Commander deck. This is the Forces of the Imperium. This is the first one I've gotten. I am very late to this show. I already know. So if you're an MTG player and be like, how come you're doing this now? Well, because I just found out this was a product. So let's open this up. Okay, so there we go. It looks like we got a couple of little token things there. What? What is this? Why is that there? I like that for the Emperor thing. Uh, lots and lots of little pop-outs here on every side. And up top. <laughs> Turn around. Do, do, do. So there's the deck. A little life counter, how to play it. What else we got in here? What is this? Oh, it's a little deck box. Yeah, I'll put that somewhere real nice. I don't know what's going on with all these pop-outs, though. It's interesting. Okay. Oh, whatever. Uh, file that away, too. What we're really interested in is this. So this is just going to be like a... Unboxing, we'll show the cards. We're gonna sleeve them up and then kind of just talk a little bit. All right, cool. So, uh, this commander, this one right here, I don't know what that was, Get out of here. Apparently, she's not very good, so. She'll go in the deck, but she will not be the commander. Get her in there. This, this is the one right here. That's the commander. I don't know why I can't focus on this very well. Probably because of the light. I'm excited to play this deck. I still, I'm going to upgrade it, but we're going to play it first. Or I'm going to play it first without upgrading it at all, just to see how it does. And then a little later, we'll do that. Just kind of get some pieces, take some out, put some new ones in. And they shall know no fear. Oh, that's so cool. And then we got a gray knight. What's going on with the Stardy's Knight? So anyway, yeah. For some reason, my last few videos haven't been doing great. Um, just to be honest with you, I've been kind of un underwhelmed with the response of them. And it's probably because of the particular subject we're talking about. Um, apparently, a lot of people don't like the Night Lords or Conrad Kurz or I don't know what the deal is, but um, come on. Hmm. Does not want to focus. There we go. I figured it out. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're going to see the weird edit. That's all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of those videos I don't under, I kind of understand why they're not doing great. Um, but it kind of sucks too, because they are um, 
the Night Lords are really awesome. But I'm also excited to go into some other other new stuff and check some out. I've also been looking at um, grabbing a couple of figures um, just to start painting. I don't know when I'm actually going to pull the trigger on that. Oops. As you can see, I have a lot of hobbies right now. That I... Yeah, just too much. <laughs> but the magic is my favorite. That's pretty cool. And it's probably, and it's just because I haven't played Warhammer ever before. Um, I have a question for everybody. Does anybody ever like purchase um, Warhammer figures that are just 3D printed? Has anybody ever done that? I'm just, I'm not going to do that for my first ones, but I saw this YouTuber who was selling some really, um, some like homemade bear themed ones that look kind of cool. So I was just, you know, seeing what people thought about that. I know they're not like legal and competitive or whatever, but I probably wouldn't ever play that competitive. Maybe, but just to have them because they're cool, but have like a real, a real set that are like, you know, actual, you can play them somewhere. Because most of the time, like all this stuff, I'm just going to be hanging out with friends doing it. I don't know where exactly I would even... Well, I do have a couple of game shops in, in town, but I don't even know if they do any Warhammer stuff. Most of them are geared towards magic and um, Pokemon and maybe a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, look at this one. Skull Clamp. This is one of the triggers that will really set this thing off. So excited. So excited to play this. And all this artwork um, for non MTG people, this is all Warhammer stuff. Like you could see the GW on the bottom where Wizards of the Coast is. This thing is from 2022? Huh. I thought this was just last year that this happened. I'm really late to this party. So I kind of quit playing um, magic and collecting and for a bit there, just because I had so much other, so many other things going on that it just didn't make any sense for me to keep <clears throat> keep going in it. And not only that, but I didn't have the funds to keep chasing cards. As you can see right here, I got a bunch of cards there. I'm kind of storing a bunch of stuff in these things. Then I also wanted to show you guys this. This is a second sticker from Flash Kits. I think I'm going to put them on a, uh, probably a deck box or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I was thinking putting them on my computer, but... I want to see them when I uh, play a game or something. Anyway. So all this art is Warhammer inspired. At least for most of them. Not all of them. There's a hundred cards in this deck if you're not a Magic player. This is a Commander deck. It's not a 60 card, 60 card normal deck. This is a 100 card deck. 
each card is different. There's not multiples of any same card. And all these cards were made specifically for this deck. So some of these are new ones. Most of them anyway, I should say. Keep the sleeve going. There we go. Sorry, my hands are a little nasty looking. They're clean. I just get a bunch of crap on them from when I'm working. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Warhammer is actually becoming kind of a, an issue, to tell you the truth. I started playing Tacticus, which was, which is pretty fun, even though it's kind of like, it's very mobile, mobile game mayhem with the microtransactions. I don't really participate in that too much unless I get like, um, what is it, Google, Google Rewards. If you guys don't have that and you're running like a, not an iPhone, I think you can actually get it on iPhone too. It's like Google Rewards, they ask you questions from places you've been, like stores and stuff. I go to a lot of hardware stores for my job and they give you like surveys and stuff that you can do um, that pay you out, like, it's only, like, cents, never, well, I can't say that it's never a dollar, because I have had a few that were, like, a couple of bucks or a buck, but that's pretty much how I play mobile games, is I just wait until I have, like, a bunch of that saved up, um, I've made, like, 400 bucks off of that, but that, that, again, that's not for everybody, because, you know, I end up uh, going to a lot of different places and having to be a lot of different places during my work day. So then all that money, all those little uh, ad things pop up and I get a lot in a day. So yeah, I've made 400 bucks since I started that a few years ago. <laughs> but I only, I save it and I'll use it for like mobile games or if I want a certain subscription for a certain amount of time. I'll do that. Like we were doing, my wife and I were doing that for uh, Pokemon Go for a long time. But now I just don't play that anymore. It's not interesting. But yeah, and then I started reading The Horus Heresy. I'm on book two right now, which is interesting. I'm kind of thinking about doing something with that as far as like making my own kind of content instead of just reacting. The only issue that I have is, is it would take me a long time and I don't know how to write a script yet. But that is something I'm going to be learning how to do. Ooh. Sorry for me to pick these up one at a time here, but that is so cool. So I do like reacting to people's content. Because there are some really amazing people out there. But I'm also like jealous because I'm like, I want to do stuff like that, you know? Make my own. So I might start doing that. I would not be anticipating anything crazy like that for me for a minute. Because it's like, that's going to take a lot of work. It's probably going to take me a while to do. Especially since I have some goals that I'm trying to meet for this year, for this channel. Um, if I can meet them fairly quickly, I'm going to get started on some new new content as long and it's all going to be I pretty much I'm going to be honest with you I'm pretty much a Warhammer channel now it's like kind of an obsession that's why I'm letting you know like hey this is a 
like we're we're opening a an MTG deck that's all all Warhammer stuff. Just leaving it up and talking. I mean, and the books. I'm getting the books. I'm reading the books. I'm listening to them on audio stuff while I'm working. <laughs> It is a major problem now. Like, I knew this universe was cool way back when, when I first started. Um, but I did not know, that's so cool, um, how awesome and badass it was. I guess I didn't throw myself far enough into the lore. Like, I read Eisenhorn, that was pretty cool. It was a good one. But nothing, like, really... Nothing, like, really stuck with me that hard. Or maybe it's just because I couldn't appreciate it when I first started. There was a lot of alcohol involved in my life at that point. Because <laughs> I was a young man having fun. <clears throat> maybe that was it. I don't know. But now... Now it's just... So... It's so awesome. I don't know. Maybe I've just evolved as a human and I like more and more fantasy and or maybe it's because I have this channel and I'm sharing all this cool stuff with you guys and you guys are liking it. And it's making me more excited. Ever since uh the other thing is ever since my buddy who got me into this, like the original stories and the game, like the video games. Since he moved away, like, I don't have anybody else that likes this. I've asked my current friends about it, and they're always like, oh, it's kind of a really expensive hobby. <laughs> and everybody's told me that, but magic's expensive, too. <clears throat> and they're magic players. I think it's the, the minis thing that throws everybody off. Because they don't want to... I'm sure it's like something to do with artwork. Like they don't want to paint or have to deal with all the, the weird stuff. And then it is like it's a hobby that really requires a lot of room. If you don't have anywhere to, to really game. But I got a decent sized basement. That's where we're at right now while I'm filming this. I don't know how my wife would feel about it. Probably not great. <laughs> but it kind of is what it is, you know. Will she love me no matter what? I don't know. That's cool. So the assassins. That's something I'm interested in for sure as well. Ricky kind of did that little... When we... <clears throat> Excuse me, when we went through that video and Bricky kind of did like a small, small little uh, talk about them, I would like to go deeper into the Assassins at some point. We're still going to do this week, it's still going to be the Orcs, and it's still going to be um, the Word Bearers. World, not World Bearers, excuse me, the World Breakers? I forget what we're doing. We're doing a lot of stuff this week. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, uh, depending on my schedule, it might, this one might go up a Tuesday instead of the Orcs video. And then the next one will be, I'm going to try to get that one up by Wednesday. That's so cool. Just because my schedule has been kind of wonky this this week. And I have not been able to get that finished. No, and it's not because I've been playing Tacticus. I just started that. <laughs> um, my little boy keeps getting sick we think he's had scarlet fever 
So that's pretty awesome. Oh, there he is. Hmm. Clue tokens, huh? But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Hopefully, I'm hoping to be able to get you three videos a week here, maybe after this week. Um, schedules permitting and all that stuff. I would really like to ramp up some of this uh, some content without, you know, destroying the rest of my schedule. These dragon shield sleeves are cool and they're very nice. They are hard to get on occasionally. Ooh, there he is. Man of the hour. The real man of the hour. Arcane life support. If you would lose the game, instead exile the golden throne and your life total becomes a one. Sacrifice a creature, add three mana in any combination of colors. That's, <laughs> that's pretty sick. Inquisitor Rosette. Some of the vehicles in this is what most people are trying to either take out or just because they seem kind of clunky. I think that was the explanation I got for most of them. It's just, you know, some of it doesn't really want to work well together with the commander. Like, there's a lot of vehicles in this, and this is mostly... From everything I've seen, most people want to do like a uh, token draw, like you draw, tap, create token, because that's kind of what Magnar is really good at, is trying to build up the board state really big. <clears throat> so replacing the ones that are kind of like not helpful would be a great idea. Look at the artwork on this one. That is cool. And of course, it's got to be the Ultramarines. <laughs> Can't be something else. It's got to be the Ultramarines because they're the they're the main faction for Games Workshop. That's pretty cool. Tyranids on that one. So I am reading... So I read the first book in the Horus Heresy, Horus Rising. Now I'm on um, False Gods. And... <laughs> So Nurgle, they were talking about Nurgle in that one already, which was pretty, pretty cool. That whole, there was a scene in there, or maybe not a scene, well, yeah, a scene where Horus ends up finding his buddy that he left in charge of a planet that ended up ditching it to go to a moon where he got possessed by Nurgle. It became a giant bloating mass of nasty stuff <laughs> oh that scene was was that no that was in the I'm getting my books all messed up I swear that was in the other one no no I'm, I'm right that was in false gods 
the first demon that you encountered was Samus in uh, Garville uh, first encountered Samus on a different planet. Garville Loken. If you know anything about that series, do not spoil it for me, because I'm having fun with it. I, like, I really like listening to it when I'm working, because the guy at the Games Workshop did a pretty bang-up job with um, whoever they got, they hired to do that, like, read it off. He does a pretty good job. So I really like listening to that when I'm working. And I sometimes I really listen and I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> so I got to be mindful of what what's happening. But if it's something easy, like I'm just trying to snake a sink or something, I'll listen to it. But yeah, pretty much I flew through Horus Rising. And then like I'll read the actual book I kind of find where I stopped in the actual book at home and I'll finish that off at night like I'll read some more of it at night because I actually figured out where I put those at but I'm missing a number like I only got up to like Fulgrim I think is where I started or stopped and I know I don't have Fulgrim anymore because I wanted to reread that one a few times just because it was so twisted but I'm pretty sure that that is in a different state right now with my friend because I think he moved with it and I was looking up like prices just prices on those books some of them are insane yeah I know they're out of print but really it's like <laughs> I really don't want to have to pay, you know, 40 bucks for a book that I don't even know if it's going to be like a real book off of eBay. It's like, I'm not, I don't know. I think I might just stick with Audible for those, like listening to it after full, uh, around Fulgrim. Because I just don't have the, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on books that are like the original they were like 20 bucks and now they're 40 50 60 bucks so that's insane i know they were good but were they that good maybe to some people but if i can listen to them on audible for cheaper that's what i'm gonna do And all these lands are like definitely uh, Warhammer based. Like everything, almost all the artwork, if not all the artwork in this deck is all Warhammer based. Once I upgrade this thing and I can get it to like pop off, I'm probably, I think they only give you a certain amount of tokens with this. Um, probably gonna have to get some more tokens because I actually want like real tokens, real Space Marine tokens, instead of just using like a white soldier or whatever. I want real Space Marine tokens for when I play because I like things to be matchy matchy. That's pretty cool. Little tank out there in the plane. This is taking way longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> and I've been trying to hurry, but yeah. So what, um, let's, let's ask a question just to see if anybody's still here. Uh, what is your favorite book, if you have one? 
for the Warhammer series if you've actually read them? Leave that in the comments if you made it this far. Ooh, Inquisitor Grayfax. Oh, that's a thick one. That's the that's the original commander. I don't know why that was in there. That was weird. So these are all the tokens. Space Marine Devastator, look at him. Ultramarine's Honor Guard, that's cool. Vanguard Suppressor, ooh, look at that. Stardy's Warrior. Just a standard robot. I like these Stardy's Warriors better. So all the same, that's a clue. And then that's how you play. All right, well. So that was the Warhammer deck. I am really, really excited to play this. Why do I feel like I am missing some of this? Oops. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to let you go while I figure it out. Catch you in the next one. Um. What else was I going to say to you? Yeah, so I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>